Hello everybody and welcome to this LEGO review on the TIE Striker from Rogue One Star Wars. This is set 75154, um, ages 8 through 14, but nobody really cares. It contains 543 pieces, uh, includes 4 minifigures, uh, retails for $69.99 US dollars, and was released in 2016, so it's themed Star Wars Rogue One. Uh, by the time I'm doing this video, it's not really an old set, it's actually pretty much up to date. Um, and it is kind of an unexpected review on the channel. However, there is uh, a good reason why I bought this set, is mainly because I got it over half off um, in a toy store. So, honestly, not a bad deal, uh, and I'm actually really loving this set. And this is something I really ha I haven't really been saying too much because I didn't get so many of the Rogue One sets, but. Um, what I can say is that they're actually really large, uh, the Ewing and the TIE Striker especially. For the price that you're paying, you're actually getting really, really, really big sets compared to other sets or other themes in general. So, something I love about Rogue One is not only you get really cool minifigures, but on top of that, the sets are just huge and humongous. And that's something I really appreciate with this set. Um, it has a great design on the wings, extremely, uh, just full of detail everywhere and just great looking overall. But before we get to that, let's first take a look at the minifigure selection. So the minifigure selection starts off with the Imperial Ground Crew and he is uh, the most basic minifigure of this set. Uh, he, he was actually first uh, exclusive to this set and then there was uh, this minifigure re-released in the, the uh, Battle on Scarif, I think, or the, the bunker that we got. Um, and the head was switched with Jyn Erso's because of her disguise. But this is the actual minifigure. Um, comes with two sticks, uh, that odd helmet that we saw in the movie, and then just some regular cool printing. And next up we get the TIE Fighter Pilot. Now, um, I think it's just TIE Striker Pilot. Uh, he comes with a blaster uh, radio, which we're going to be able to put in the vehicle later on. And he has great printing. I believe the helmet is from the UCS Tire Fighter, but um, it's now released here and I think in another set, so it's no longer um, exclusive. However, he doesn't have any sort of arm printing or anything like that. Um, and then next up we have the Scarif Stormtrooper. According to the Star Wars lore, he is a short trooper, however, he has uh, blue markings on him. So compared to the ones we got in the Bunker Battle or Battle on Scarif set, that those were just plain sand or tan color. He has blue markings. It, lead, it leads me to believe that this is actually the uh, Scarif uh, Captain uh, Shore Trooper. So let me know in the comment section below if it is or if it's not. I believe it is. Um, he has the blue markings and those are considered captains, so I think he's the captain. Um, however, he is exclusive to this set. And there's a poly bag with a slight, slightly updated version of him that's coming out soon, so uh, maybe that's a captain, I don't really know. Uh, however, he is cool, he's definitely by far the coolest minifigure in the entire set. Um, he has great printings all over him, uh, comes with one of those like shotgun rifle type of stuff, and he has a regular uh, clone trooper face under it. And finally we have the Rebel Trooper, now these are kind of just Rebel Troopers uh, inserted in every single set. He is exclusive I believe, um, he has one of those Endor helmets but repainted with this silverish gold chrome type of color which is amazing. And he has just great printings for the torso and legs, so definitely one of those Rogue One Rebels. Um, I think he might be my favorite minifigure in this set, uh, but I do have to give it to LEGO, all the minifigures in this set are just an amazing uh, selection.
All right, so moving on uh, to the actual set, uh, that was the build. Uh, pretty exciting build, actually. Definitely love the process. Um, we could argue that it's actually kind of annoying repeating the entire building process but uh, of the wings repeating one wing to the other side but it's actually pretty enjoyable uh, definitely like that so um, nothing really to complain we're gonna go ahead and start off with the cockpit uh, of the ship so the cockpit as you can see is a uh, full uh, fill actually with just a bunch of stickers on top uh, great detailing this is printed right here this is a sticker and then these are four separate stickers um, I definitely do appreciate all the detail that otherwise we would not really have. Um, a lot of people complain about stickers, I think they just add detail that LEGO wouldn't give otherwise. And then uh, this piece, which is not new, is also printed. Uh, you can open up the cockpit like so, so there's two ways that you can go ahead and open it up. And uh, actually you could just remove this piece right here, just remove that if. Um, it's too hard to, to access it. Uh, there's no sticker or printed on the controls. It's just really basic. As you can see, there isn't too much to go on about. However, the Thai, pilot, Thai striker pilot, I don't know, maybe he has a different name. Um, just fits in like that. Close it up. Actually, just put this piece back like this. And then just go ahead and close that up. And he is in there. Uh, pretty straightforward, as you can see there's two um, of these, uh, what are those called, spring-loaded shooters, and there you go, just, I think you guys are all familiar with the concept, like this, and then just shoot it, so yeah, uh, so that's all I can say about this front part of the cockpit, um, Again, another TIE fighter or another sort of TIE fighter, so there isn't too much to say about uh, the cockpit and internals. It's always been the same thing. It's missiles and then uh, just wings. Uh, however, this one does have a bit of space. If you want to fit troopers in here, you're going to have to do some slight modifications, um, but it is possible. All you have to do is open this up and then just remove some of the Technic junk that's supposed to be sturdier. And then uh, you can go ahead and put some minifigures. But what they kind of, the space where you would technically be able to put minifigures, they kind of squished it with some Technic junk and left space for this. Now, this fun feature is pretty, pretty basic. As you saw, my, my Tide Pilot had two accessories. Well, there's already some binoculars in here. It's, yeah, there you go. Um, and then his gun can just be kept in here and then his radio which had the really cool sticker can be just placed right here um, that's as much as you can get in there again as I said uh, if you get this set you'll understand um, you can go ahead and modify this set and you'll have plenty of space for the internals um, that's what's great about Legos that you get something but you can also make your own and that's pretty cool uh, quick little explanation of how the actual wings work because there is a whole system dedicated to that the entire point of the set is to actually get these wings moving just push this up and push this up and then the wings are going to get in this position and if you want them to go back down there's two ways you just push them down actually no sorry my bad uh, you just push these pins down like this but you can put them in this position without using the pin but you need to put the pin down like that uh, so here's it an overall look at how the set looks like with the wings um, personally I think the set has a really cool look like this but I would prefer them on display having them like this I think the set has a cold menacing look like this and then here it has really cool battle position so uh, depends how I'm going to display this piece because definitely it's one of those sets to display um, but yeah so again the wings are just massive um, it just starts and just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going um, so uh, definitely there's for both taste and I think a lot of people have opinions in very different uh, yeah you guys just have a lot of different opinions so definitely uh, if you want to have your set like this it looks amazing and then if you 
like me, you kind of want to have it in more of a cold fashion, uh, menacing look like this is just fine as well. So that's what I love about this set. Very flexible um, in its different looks. And then you have a really different look from the back, really different look from the side. Uh, just a great set overall. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some final thoughts uh, on the set. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this LEGO Star Wars set review. Um, definitely some final thoughts would be that this set is applicable for pretty much anybody. Collectors are just gonna love this set. Uh, people who just love minifigures are getting really decent minifigures. Um, all the Rogue One minifigures in general are really nice, but here you get an exclusive Rebel Trooper which just looks amazing, and then uh, the Shore Trooper Captain, and then this guy. Uh, just cool minifigures we haven't really gotten or seen in Star Wars yet. I mean, if you're gonna get one of those prequel or original trilogy sets, you're always getting another Han Solo, another C-3PO, and so on. So here, just a bunch of original minifigures. Um, almost all of them are sort of exclusive. I mean, they have been released in other sets, um, but I know this one for a fact. Actually, these two are exclusive. Um, this one has been in one other set and the other uh, pilot, I think so, as well. So, um, almost kind of like just uh, exclusive minifigures. So that's something I really like. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this set. I think it's a great set for all LEGO fans. Um, if you guys want to display this set, just great. And if you guys want to Play with this as well, just works very, very well. Um, so thanks for watching this LEGO Star Wars set review. Please leave a comment in the comment section below, and otherwise I will see you guys next time here at the Mammoth Wars channel for more LEGO Star Wars videos. Bye-bye. The Dark Side.